Hey guys, this is Mr. Pog Zamora, and today I'm gonna teach you how to make a hidden house in Minecraft Pocket Edition. So as you can see, we have here a tree. Now if we're going to put a lever on top of the stump and turn it on, as you can see, we have an instant house. And we also have the option to hide this house by turning off the lever as you can see the house is now hidden so i'm now going to teach you how to make this hidden house so first you need to prepare a hole which is five by five square and also three blocks deep so as you can see the bedrock is now visible next what we're going to do is to dig another five by three rectangle at each side of the bigger square so this one is the rectangle above the square so this is going to be the result if you are done digging now all you need to do is to dig a rectangle like this to the other three sides of the square so this is the hole that you need to prepare as you can see it's kind of like a cross next you need to make another square as you can see we have here 12 sticky pistons now the arrangement must be just like this next you're going to put slime blocks on one side of the square so as you can see it's kind of like letter O now you're going to do the same pattern on the two other sides of the square all right so this is what it looks like now the other side is different so you're going to put three slime blocks at the first layer and then two more at both sides next we're going to put three obsidian blocks at the middle and another three going up then we're going to put two repeaters here and one at each blocks going up then we're going to connect them using redstone dust so we just need to repeat the same steps with the other three sides of the biggest square so again two repeaters here then one at each block going up and some redstone dust so this is what it looks like when you are done repeating the same pattern next we need to dig two blocks below the grass and it must be three blocks to the right and another two blocks going up so we just need to repeat the same process to the other sides of the bigger square so as you can see we are done digging and we just repeat the same pattern and that what makes this invention so easy to build most of the steps here are pretty much repetitions next we're going to put a dirt here so that we can connect the redstone dust so another one here and also so on the other sides of the square next we're going to go to the side where the door of the house is located so it must be here now I'm going to put two logs here and I'm going to break the first one so this is where we are going to put the lever next I'm going to put a resin dust under the log and I'm going to put a resin repeater on both canals next I'm going to connect the other repeaters using some resin dust now make sure that you will also use repeaters because the resin current is only limited to 16 blocks and of course the repeater has the ability to extend the current so that you can reach as far as you can now I will go back here to the stump and this time, I'm going to connect some redstone dust to this repeater so that the current can reach up to this side of the square. So basically, we're done with the redstone dust. Now this time, we need to focus on the redstone repeaters that are directly behind the sticky pistons. So we need to change the delay after four ticks here and also on its partner as well as here at the middle. So basically, I will just repeat that to all the repeaters that are behind the sticky pistons and are on the same layers all right so this is going to be the last one so we're done with the repeaters now it's testing time so let's put here a lever on top of the stump and let's pull it there you go so as you can see the house was elevated and also you will notice that the house has no flooring yet so for us to fix that let's just put down the house and let's put more obsidian blocks so here we're going to fill up the floor using 
using nine obsidian blocks. Next, we're going to put more obsidian blocks around the slimes. And the reason why we're using obsidian blocks is that they can't be moved by the slime blocks. Of course, you can also use bedrocks, but obsidian looks better. Next, we're going to use grass blocks to cover up the digging that we made. So this is just one corner. So let's do the same thing on the other three corners. So after filling up the four corners, we also need to fill up the remaining holes that we made because of the digging. So this is just one side. We just need to repeat this to the other sides of the square. So as you can see, the resin contraptions are now hidden. Next, we need to pull the lever again so that we can see the house. And then here in front, we can now put the door. Now, instead of doors, we're going to use trap doors simply because they will not be destroyed when the slime blocks will move. So as you can see, two trap doors will look like a real door. Next, we're going to put glass panes on all the other sides of the square. And right now, we have three windows and a door. Now let's turn off the lever again and this time we're going to make the tree. Now here I'm going to use birch wood because this is my favorite and also I'm going to use jungle leaves simply because it's also my favorite. So we just need to put here three by three leaves and another one on top. And there you go. We have now a tree. Now we just need to add three more blocks here so that the terrain will look better. So basically we're done. And as you can see, we only have here a tree and this is such a nice way to hide your house. Now additional tip is that you can actually go here inside of the house and put here a chest so we just need to break this part and we're going to attach a chest beside the slime block and of course we can put here the lever and also the things that we need inside the house just like the bed of course you can also add furnace paintings crafting tables enchantment tables anything that you want and all we have to do right now is to turn on the lever again and as you can see the house is now hidden now make sure to remove the lever just like that and as you can see there's no way that intruders will know that there is a house underneath the tree unless they know this trick so I hope you learned something from this video now if you did just smash the thumbs up button for more minecraft pocket edition tutorial videos and tricks if you have any reaction and suggestion just leave it in the comment section below so again this is mpz mr pog zamora don't forget to subscribe bye now hey guys this is mr pog zamora please support my three youtube channels namely mr pog zamora Unique Potato and Tricky Pumpkin. Mr. Pog's Amar channel is currently focusing on Minecraft Pocket Edition tutorial videos and tricks. This is the only channel you can see cool, weird, and creative inventions for the Minecraft PE world. Some of them are the clone machine. And let's see what will happen. So let's now push the button. There you go. And then let's go here. And then let's just wait. There you go. So as you can see, we have now the cloned pig. The tank. And today I'm gonna show you my latest invention. And this is the tank in Minecraft Pocket Edition. Um, he cannot hit me as of the moment, but look at that. This tank is indeed so destructive. I'm on fire right now. Oh my goodness. Look at that. Oh my god. And the Autobot. And this is the Transformer in Minecraft Pocket Edition. And then we will just say Autobot Transform. Boom. <laughs> the robot just transformed into a car. Now let's see how the car looks. Look at that. This is an awesome car. So if you're looking for new and unique creations or you just want to learn some cool redstone ideas, then this channel is definitely for you. In general, this channel contains Minecraft PE, Minecraft PC, and Survivor Craft videos. Another channel showcasing this three is Unique Potato Channel. This channel is known for its cool Survivor Craft T-Rex videos. There's a very big creature over there. No, not the bear. Oh, it's coming this way. 
something wicked this way comes. So, yeah. Is it a dinosaur? Currently, this channel is starting on Roblox Gameplays and Game Showcase. If you are a fan of Survival Craft and Roblox, then this channel is made just for you. Para naman sa mga kababayan ko Pinoy Minecraft gamers, narito na ang channel na para sa atin, ang Tricky Pumpkin Channel. Sa ngayon, mga Tagalog Minecraft videos ang mapapanood dito. Hangad ang channel na ito ang maging most subscribed Pinoy gaming channel sa mundo. At syempre, ito ay posible lamang kung ibibigay nyo sa akin ang inyong uma at ikabong suporta. Kaya ng Pinoy mamayagpag sa mundo ng YouTube basta tayo ay sama-sama at nagtutulungan. Hashtag Pinoy YouTubers Rule. Bye now!